I'll come right out and say it. The ending of No Country for Old Men left me a little unsatisfied. True, it does make sense in context with the rest of the film. Throughout No Country for Old Men, Texas Sheriff Ed Tom Bell, Tommy Lee Jones, had grown very weary of the violence in his region, and having psychopath Anton Chigur, Javier Bardem, escape, proves the futility of trying to stop the violence. Some have suggested that Bell waking up from a dream of his father, a sheriff like himself, fixing to make a fire, parallels his retirement. The fire in the dream is out cold, just as law enforcement is outmatched and unable to cope with modern violence, particularly from psychopaths like Shigur. And so Bell woke up from the dream of law enforcement by retiring. I understand the metaphors now, but the ending of No Country for Old Men just feels like a bit of a dull, obtuse tangent to an otherwise riveting thriller. But hating a great movie for the final two minutes is like hating a fine restaurant just because it serves you cheap wine after a delicious six-course meal and a lap dance. I'm looking at you, confused Matthew. I love No Country for Old Men. The performances are understated but compelling, and are very effective in fleshing out the characters' personalities. The sardonic, tired sheriff, the ruthless killer, and the stubborn welder who never gives up. Joel and Ethan Cohen, a famous directing duo, have a gift for coaxing nerve-wracking suspense from wide, empty shots of the desert or sparsely furnished hotel rooms, as these are the stage for disturbing acts of cruelty and an intense cat-and-mouse game between Shigur and Llewellyn. Llewellyn, the protagonist, could best be described as an anti-hero, as he wants to keep the two million dollars in drug money he found, even if it puts his wife and family at risk. As for Javier Bardem, he is truly chilling as Anton Chigur, the formidable antagonist. Chigur is soft-spoken and enjoys settling matters with a coin toss, but he's also cold, dead-eyed, imposing, a frighteningly efficient killer, and seemingly unstoppable. Shigur is completely devoid of remorse or compassion, and his calm heartlessness shines through in Bardem's award-winning performance. You fear Shigur every time he's on screen, which is the mark of a highly effective villain. There is also a lot of clever, ironic humor in Tommy Lee Jones's dialogue. Finally, I'd like to mention Kelly MacDonald, who plays Llewellyn's wife, Carla Jean. She's very beautiful in a plain, girl-next-door kind of way, and she's a Scottish actress who pulls off a southern accent perfectly. Adapted from Cormac McCarthy's novel, No Country for Old Men is a gripping, superbly acted portrayal of violence in small-town America, and if it weren't for the obtuse ending, I would have given it five stars. But four and three-quarter stars is just as good, isn't it? Thank you for watching. Cheers.